Greetings from the eccentric side. My name is Uche Udogo and welcome to this video. On this video, I shall be talking about the Avatar, The Last Airbender, now on Netflix in live action. I had a lot of people are talking about it. I felt since I've been a huge fan of the Avatar, The Last Airbender, why not do a video about it? And that's why we are here today. So if um, the video makes sense, don't forget to like share and subscribe to the eccentric side let's begin now i went into this video really not really sure of what to expect you know some of us uh, there was a lot of anticipation before the release this february 22nd because uh, on this part of the world a lot of us we are huge fans we grew up watching this over and over and over again you know if you are not anticipating this movie there are two things it's that yeah perhaps younger than 10 or far above the age of 35 and yes i say it's 35 because a lot of us even as we are adults we are still watching and we're watching and we're watching the last airbender then they released that legend of Korra. and then it's that fell short so i was like okay last Airbender came out we really loved it Korra came out not a lot of people were huge fans some people liked it but not really a lot of you know fan base for Legend of Korra, and then I heard about the live action coming out on February twenty second. I was like, okay, I think I would like to watch it and see what it's all about. So people like some people watched it um, about five times from season one to season three. Some people watched it you know above ten. In fact, self, let me dro like drop a like on this video if you like if you watch this video more than once. And please let me know in the comment section. Do you watch it below five times? Do you watch it between five and ten times? Or, or even people like people like me that watched it over and over above ten times? Let me know in the comment section below. Now I began the movie. You know, I began the movie on Netflix, and I was like, okay, how is it going to be? To be honest, at the beginning, I was not sure of what I was watching because, you know, when the last ember that began, is, I think it began from when Kitara and Sokka were having their quarrels by the seaside and then accidentally they broke Eng out of his iceberg that he was talking for a hundred years. But when the um, live action movie began on Netflix, it was a bit more different because it started from around when the world was peaceful, when Eng was the child, when I was in the Southern Air Temple, when then it was even Fire Lord Susan. I was like, okay, why exactly are we starting Fire Lord Susan now? Because I was like, okay, I don't think I know who this Fire Lord Susan is. I was like, okay, are they trying to tell me at this point that maybe it's Susan that's going to be his enemy and not Ozai? So it was when I watched, okay, how it happened, where, um, they were, he was undergoing his training, he was the most outstanding student, he was feeling out of place because he seems to learn faster than his peers, you know, and to him playing annoying and all. So that was when I was like, okay, okay, I'm, I think I'm seeing where, <coughs> excuse me, I'm seeing where this is going. Now, um, the movie went on and on, he, at the end, he was in, finally informed he was going to be the Avatar, and then Fire Lord Susan, did that Rosie he did by attacking the earth kingdom letting everybody pull their resources towards the side and then coming all around and attacking the southern air temple in order to get rid of whoever the avatar may be since it was supposed to be from the air temple since it was the turn of the air nomad to, pro <coughs> to produce the avatar so When he was told that Eng was told that he was going to be the avatar, then he called Appa, he was distraught, he called Appa, he was trying to escape from his future, he zoomed off on Appa, and then while he was away, the thunderstorm began, Appa crash landed into the ice and was sealed. No, I think he was not sealed, I think he sealed himself. I'm not really sure, did he seal himself or was he sealed? But the point is, he got himself sealed, and then while he was there, the the air temple was eradicated. Now I was think, and right after that, we moved to a hundred years later, when we see Sokka trying to coordinate his little water tribe. 
Like I was thinking that pop, maybe they should have told us like something like hundred years later or something. I don't know, but uh, the shift for me was quite abrupt. I was like, okay, we could have done better between the shift of hundred years before and hundred years later. My opinion. Now, another part I did not get was um, okay. Yes, they met and. The old things happen. We all know the storyline because, um, as I said, some of us have watched it over 10 times. So we know how this thing goes from the beginning to the end. Some of us even crammed some some of the avatar lines. You know, let me know in the comments if you are like me that, you know, have so, that was reciting some of those lines. I know that some of the wordings were a bit different. But then there are some parts that stayed the same, like, um, word-wise. So, let me know if you are like if you are like me that memorize some of the you know um, lines of the last event. And now, um, where was I in the first place? So yes, fast forward to so the whatever what happened in the tribe happened, and you know Zuko found that he was there, came blah 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 yada yada yada. Fast forward to a part that I really do not understand. So some differences I noticed were in the animated version that we all grew to love Eng and um Sokka and Kitara when they got to that part with the with Jet and his freedom fighters I really didn't understand what they did with the live action because you know the story was a bit different yeah because um in the animation I think Jet one is and pips quick and his other band of freedom fighters were trying to flood the village they had to kill the fire the fire nation that were residing in the village or something like that but then here i'm seeing them trying to use bombs i'm like bomb whoa okay it's a bit more i don't know let's see western um 21st century bomb I don't know if bomb was the right place, right thing to use at that point, but yeah, for, so they wanted they wanted to use bomb and then um, Kitara forwarded the action by using her water to quench the bomb, you know. So yes, I do not really understand what happened there, and then what really happened to Jet at the end because they're not really sure what happened. Um, he and Kitara had a falling out. Kitara froze him in ice, Kitara left him alone. What happened to these other freedom fighters? Did they continue fighting? Did they release jets? They just show it showed it where Kitara froze him and then that was the end. So I did not really understand what the movie producer were trying to do at that point. And that part that left me wondering what was really going on was at Omashu. Yeah. So Eng was arrested. General Iroh was arrested. Now, in the cartoon, Bumi does his antics and then just at the end of all his games that Eng got to find out that, well, Bumi was Bumi. That the king he, was, he had been playing games with had been Bumi all along. So they, they, I think there was a part where was it Eng was trying to rescue Sokka and Kitara. Kitara was trying to rescue Eng. And there was a time limit or something like that but then the movie in the live action on netflix uh, kita and soccer were going through the tunnel trying to find him and then while they played a particular game at the end of the game shall they rescued and but what i don't understand was in the live action movie instead of learning about Bumi's um identity at the end he found out around the beginning of their interactions but i was not like okay he has found out who bumi is what then happens to the other parts that we know from the animation and then i was surprised when they made bumi go rogue i was like wow bumi is going rogue what's going on here bumi is talking about how eng abandoned them how eng left him how we have to make, make decisions between do you say does he send rations to his army or does he send rations to the children you know, things like that, Eng abandoned him. I was like, okay, what exactly is going on? Then I was trying to give him that speech of, um, I'm sorry, I was, I deserted you, I'm here to make, I'm like, what exactly is this? What is this nonsense? 
I don't get the point because I'm like, uh uh-uh, what's the movie is not a very serious we all know that is people can't really bend it or bend water or bend fire or bend air. We know that, but why are you making it have this tinge of seriousness to it? I do not get the point. Bumi going rogue, Eng not trying to convince him why um and then Bumi telling Eng, you don't need your friends, you need to go it alone. And Eng saying no, he needs his friends. I'm like what what is this nonsense? Unnecessary, unnecessary, very, very unnecessary. You know. And at the end of the last game, Sokka and Kitara help Eng out of out of to make his last his last stand. And then Boom was like, No, you cheated, you did not I'm like, okay, this has gone long gone on long enough, let's move on. So then fast forward towards the end where the battle at the Air Temple happens. So at the not Air Temple, what am I saying? At the North Northern Water Tribe happens. So now um Princess Yue and Sokka, yeah they're still in love at this part. I don't know if there was the part where you oh oh before you get to the ending the part other part I don't understand was so the avatar before Eng was what's his name avatar roku yes from the fire nation now avatar roku goes into the spirit tribe makes the stealer of 30,000 faces and steals his mother's totem but does not defeat him like why is the avatar now a thief no think about it because a the thought was maybe he went fought with Thousand Face, he defeated him. But then when Eng found he went to visit him, he told Eng that no, he did not defeat him, he just stole his mother's totem. And then right after he gives Eng to go back to return it. Why did you steal it? And why did you return it back? What are the significance of that totem? It was basically like a waste of our time because like okay, so the man of a thousand faces as up a number of people to feed on them right and now he tells Eng the file before you stole something from me and goes to visit Susan in order to help him rescue his friends he takes the totem he returns to the spirit tribe and returns the totem the evil thousand faces stealer now returns all the food he kept to feed on when he was hungry so can you explain to me what is the significance of that whole part of the movie i can't get it because yes um the the the, the animated version had 25 minutes episode or and they were about um i think 20 18 to 20 episodes in season in the first season that is the water that is the one that's generally around Eng learning how to water bend. So it means that they had to cut out some parts. So I'm like, I don't think in the animated version, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. I don't think in the animated version there was a part where this old stealing of totem, going to return the totem happened and then he got his friend. I don't think that really happened. I don't think that was how it went down. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So I, I really did not get that part. Now back to the Northern Water Tribe. When we go to what Northern Water Tribe, we saw um the um yes, Sokka and Yuri, they were in love. I'm not sure that again that fox part of Yuri being the fox girl in the spirit world and she met Sokka there and then they ended up being you know I don't think that whole part of Yuri being the fox in the spirit tribe, I don't think that really happened in the animated version again. I'm not this particular part I'm not sure so let me know in the comment section again. So now, Yue and Sokka. So at this particular part, there were some differences between the animated version and the live action on Netflix. Now, what I noticed was instead of um, yes, um, what's his name, the Madman, Anura Zhao, was still the evil villain he still killed the moon spirit but i'm not really sure if um if he really had support from 
Azula at, as the as it was in the live action. I'm not really sure of that part. Then the fight happens. The Fire Nation is of course defeated. And then the whole ending part, I'm not really sure that happened. Because I think, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the animated version, Master Paco was kidnapped. Because I remember in season 3, Paco was one of the warriors that they had to go and rescue that were part of the easy White Lotus that helped Avatar defeat Fire Lord Ozai on, on the day of the comment or the comment so i don't know to see paco that in the after the war and was sitting down like okay i thought paco was kidnapped that one part that i did not really get i think that was that was the difference another difference i saw was the part where avatar where eng um kitara and soka after the war with that part about them talking i think what happened in the animated version was Right after the battle, it ended. Then, let's see, as soon as the um, Earth Kingdom, you know, and Kitara is teaching him, and all then they found um, Dorf, the Earth Bender that joined their team eventually. So, yes, I really didn't understand. So, it was a little bit different actually at that end. And then to think that it was um, one of those stages that was teaching Ozai about when the next comment is coming, using all those machines to, um, what is the word, to draw the picture, like, okay, a bit more, I guess because it's no longer animation, it's now live action, so they can allow for a bit of more technological advancement, I'm guessing, but that part about that tech or trying to, of, I, I forget the word I need, but the point of him showing File or those are how the the soldier's comment is coming out. Like, okay, I don't think I really saw this in the animation. So now that I'm done talking about the movie, what exactly is my opinion of the whole thing? Was it a waste of my time? Was it a time well spent? So for now, we have one season, we have eight episodes. An episode is about 50, 55, I think some, I think one or two, I think one of the episodes, I think that was just episode one, was about an hour. So, let's just call an average of 55 minutes per episode, eight episodes in the whole season. Was it a waste of my time? I don't think it was. And I think it was at the same time. Let me explain. So, it wasn't a waste of my time as per, it helped me bring back memories. Yeah, it's obvious that I'm virtually impaired. So, the what what all of you are going on and on about about the you know the picture, the cinematography, the what we in Nigeria here call the film trick. I'm not really a I don't really enjoy that part of the movie. So for me, it's just basically the storyline, um, the maybe acting, but not really about the picture quality and the cinematography and the videography and the uh, awesome edits that they made so for me to just basically storyline acting so based on that was it a waste of my time as i said yes and no it was not a waste of my time because it brought back those memories and it was a waste of my time because i was not really understanding why it was largely the same storyline about 85 to 90 percent of the same storyline maybe words were changed maybe some parts were mixed up to reduce the numbers of the episodes that they will need to shoot but then so basically ah all right i watched the cartoon this is the movie okay so what next so if i'm to score the movie i think i will give it a seven and a half and a seven and a half because i am a bit Bayard, because as I said, I watched it over 10 times, going to like 20 to be honest. So I'm a fan of the movie. So just this sample the five I give it is based on the fact that it brings back memories. Yeah, that's my opinion. So let me know your comments in the comment section below. How would you rate Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix? 
let me know in the comment section below score it over 10 and don't forget to like and subscribe to your eccentric site you may share this as well till next time stay eccentric